Nation. So let's take a time out for the tropics. First of all, there is still a hurricane out there, Hurricane Nigel way out in the Atlantic. That's going to move north and not bother us. And then the National Hurricane Center is also watching this area north of the Bahamas, an area that as we kind of step back and look at it, has nothing there. So we're talking about a system that could form that isn't even there yet. That is where the old cold front, again, is going to stall out. And that could combine with, get this, a system that's moving off the Pacific Ocean into California, upper level system. It's going to come all the way across the country, get together with that stalled out front and possibly form an area of low pressure. Now, it's probably not going to be a traditional tropical system, just an area of low pressure that's going to bring some rain and maybe some wind later this week, kind of like a nor'easter, but forming way farther south. So that's our next big weather maker, this system forming Friday-ish and then heading our direction with some rain this weekend anywhere from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again, it hasn't even formed yet, so you know a system like that is going to undergo a lot of changes over the next several days, but we think it's trending for a wetter and windy weekend for us. In the meantime, we've got one, two, three days of near-perfect weather to enjoy with temperatures in the 80s. Some clouds and rain start to move in later Friday with temperatures in the 70s, and then we'll stay in the 70s this weekend, but that's partially because we've got decent chances of rain, especially Saturday, and then your exclusive 10 day forecast keeps us in the 80s with small chances of rain next week. All right, that is looking